hey, look, here's a rope, well, or a string. Let's pull it, see what happens. So when I pull on it, all right, it transmits a force, downs rope, and pulls something else. So let's get that out of the way. All right. So force is transmitted by ropes and cables. First, ropes and cables only push. You. Here's my calculator. Let's try to push it with the rope. All right. Ropes can't push. All right. So when we have like our calculator here and it's sitting on top of my table. All right, and I have my string attached to it. And then here's micro me pulling it. The force of me pulling on the string is transmitted to the calculator. So let's make this the calculator. So what do we have here? It's really a, just a giant thing of uh, Newton's third law pair. So I pull on the string. So the force of Lubbs is pulling the string this way. The string pulls back on me that way. But the string is then also attached over here. So the force of the string is this way. And then the calculator pulls on the string. The force of the calculator is pulling back. So the string gets some sort of gets stretched out. So let's take a look. So here's my calculator. When I pull on it, I was kind of loose. But then when I pull on it, you can see that the string is being stretched out. And there's some sort of tension in the string. But the, I pull on the string this way, the string is pulling my hand backwards this way. But the string is pulling this way on the calculator, and the calculator is pulling back. So the string gets stretched out, but my force gets transmitted to the calculator as it gets pulled out of the way. So now, the force of the string is equal to the force of Lubbs. And that, that I can transmit that down, and that becomes what we would like to call tension. So let's look at the forces that are on this calculator now. So before we've just been drawing over here, so now what we're going to talk about is this thing called a free body diagram, or in this case, or in every case, we'll just call it a F an FBD, which is the sum of all the forces uh, drawing all the forces on an object, on an object, but we treat this object as a dot. So the free body diagram looks like this. There's the dot, there's my calculator. So forces that are on this calculator as I pull it along. So as we look on the side, I have gravity pulling down, so the force of gravity is here. I have the tension pulling over here. We'll just call it T. So here's the tension. T. I have the table pushing it up. That's the normal force due to the table. And as I'm sliding across, friction is back this way. So then here is the force of friction. So what you'll notice is on the free body diagram, I treat this calculator as a dot, so all the forces end on the dot, as opposed to here in my real drawing. The tension is happening over here. Gravity is actually ac acting all the way across it over every little piece. There's the force of gravity there, force of gravity there. The normal force is acting all the way across the bottom, and the friction is only is acting across the bottom as well. We take all those pieces and move them into here, so this is our free body diagram. And so now we can then do what we need to do, find out what the forces need to do, and go from there.